Hello everyone, it's the Lego Brit here and behind us is the biggest Lego store in the world. Honestly, so much has changed since I've last been here. I went last year and obviously since then they refurbished it and the store looks completely different. We're in the Lego store in Leicester Square and look at this amazing Big Ben they've built. It's almost as tall as the real one. Behind me it looks like we've got a character from Harry Potter. Someone let me know in the comments what the name is but I absolutely love this. It's like a life-size build and then when you go around You've got these giant pieces here that look like Lego to make it look like Gringotts Bank. One thing I particularly like that they have dotted around are these builds of minifigures. This must have taken such a long time for them to put together that they have a guard and of course a policeman. This is now officially the biggest Lego store in the world. They literally have everything. Over here they have a massive, massive mosaic over there with Ron and Harry Potter in the car. And we've got Hedwig at the top. This is actually amazing. They've got a life-size Lego bus with a minifigure in there with the bus driver and a mosaic to look like there's minifigures inside. Looking up there, they've got a screen suggesting Lego minifigures are inside, which is a really nice touch. I absolutely love this. Grandma Brits is sitting down with William Shakespeare here, having a conversation about literature at the bus stop. It must honestly be like the most fun job ever to be able to design these giant builds and put them together and then have them displayed in the Lego store. You've got Voldemort, I can't remember, Nagini, that's it, Nagini the snake, and I can't remember, Bellatrix, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Harry Potter fans, don't yell at me, I got all the names right. One thing that's incredibly special about this Lego store is this Lego museum that you can see here. So they have a bunch of pictures and information about the original Lego products and they even have some right here. So 1955, it's crazy to think that Lego once looked like this. Look, you can see in the original box, some of this stuff must be priceless now. This is what the original Lego Galaxy Explorer set looked like. It's strange to think that they remade it so many years later here in 2022, but this is what the original looked like. I love that they have this on display. This is the original Lego Duck. I've heard it's incredibly valuable, so this display must have some massive security, probably like bulletproof casing or something like that. But it's strange to think this is how Lego started in 1932 with wooden toys. 2011, that makes me feel really, really old because I remember these sets peeing on shelves. I mean, I probably don't know, I was about five at the time, but still, I do remember when Ninjago was relatively new, so it does make me feel old. Here is the original Lego castle. I'll show a picture on the screen of the brand new Lego castle that they have on shelves now. It's crazy to think how far they've come. They have a massive Star Wars selection with some really, really big ships here, the light cruiser, the Razor Crest, and then over there, you can see that we've got the Moss Eisley, the Land Speeder, and the Gunship. So some fairly pricey sets here. They also have plenty of the new ones. Oh, I've never seen the minifig packs actually in store. So they do have the Hoth minifigure pack and five of first battle packs. They have the biggest of the big sets right here with the Falcon and the Star Destroyer. It says last chance to buy, so the Star Destroyer is going to be retiring soon. I bought one of the minifigures from the Star Destroyer just for my collection, but as much as I'd love to be able to buy this, I simply can't afford it. With the price increase, the AT-80 is now £735, which is honestly insane. I mean, I would definitely not pay that price. I'd wait for a sale from Zavi or somewhere. Even if it is a cool set, I don't think it's worth that much. I'm guessing this is the brand new Hogwarts icon set i'm pretty sure that's what it's called so you've got hedwig the letter of acceptance to hogwarts and some books it looks like a great display piece lego really went all out with the harry potter display they've got hermione over there and some other minifigures over there the owls on the top i mean they really really went all out here is the brand new hogwarts express collector's edition i mean you've got to be some collector to pay 430 pounds for it but it looks amazing i'm guessing this is the section for lego cars they have the back to the future delorean down here they have the canara canara or am i absolutely butching camerara that's it <laughs> i just butchered that name and of course the 007 car they also have a life-size version of the 007 bond car i'll show a picture of me sitting in it on the screen now overall i am very very impressed with this lego store i know it's been a short vlog but still it's been an awesome one nonetheless let me know what you think of this lego store i love what they've done with it and i cannot wait to come back again soon have a wonderful day goodbye